aid of his dark master's gifts, he corrupted the orcs and created the Shadow Council, setting in motion. Good evening, Hots fans. Welcome to another semifinal match. Um, this time we have Division D West, number one Magnitude Aftershock versus number four Trith Academy. We are going to Towers of Doom, one of my favorite maps. Um, so let's get right to the draft. We have first pick, first ban for the red team, Trith Academy. Um, that means um, the blue team, Magnitude Aftershock, um, pick the map. And Zul'jin is the first band. Okay, we're going after some targeted DPS right away. No trolling for you. All right, so who will the blue team, will they go on a targeted band also? Or will they do the standard Joanna Brightwing Stukov band? And they decide Anduin. Okay, so no light bombs. No light bombs, shenanigans, and no pulling. No spoiling of the fun by Anduin. And Malthal, there's an offlaner band. Definitely going after some target bands here. And who will blue team give up? I would imagine um, they banned one healer. They might ban another healer. Go off on a target. Joanna. Nope. You don't want to give up Joanna. Too scary. Everybody first picks Joanna if it's available. But the little dragon, Chromie, was available. So we're going to have some long range um, blasting away for the red team. Pixie's got the lo longest range of all. Ooh, my hell. And May. Okay. Uh, a lot of zone control there. Who will the red team counter? Kerrigan. Oh, she's going to jump right into all that zone control. Uh, I'm kind of scared for Kerrigan, but what will they back up? Rhaegar? Rhaegar to heal? Okay. Decided on a tank later on. Going to need a tank that can dive with Kerrigan. Maybe a Meriden or a Nubrak. A blue team ban a tank or an offlaner because red team's already got their DPS. And they decided, Daka decided on a offlaner. All right, red team, I would ban Brightwing. I mean, if you got Kerrigan jumping in there, you don't want to be turning to sheep. I mean, Brightwing would make the most sense to ban. Keep Kerrigan alive. And they decide to ban Deckard. Okay, so no sleepy time. Or Lornado. I guess that's good, but you know, you get the sheep on Brightwing on level one. Kerrigan's got to play it safe. And oh, you got he's still going to sleep. And Tassadar with the wall. Oh my gosh. I like the blue team's draft already. I'm scared for Kerrigan. What tank are they going to use to protect it? So you got the Mayev pull into them. Tassadar is going to wall everyone off. And is going to sleep everyone off. And then they're just going to kill who's ever in their front line. Whoever Mayev pulls. Nubrak and Deathwing. Okay, well, that solves the pulling problem. Deathwing can't be pulled, can't be slept. It's a good pickup, I think. And Leoric. Oh, but <laughs> Leoric will counter Deathwing. So, um, everyone's countering everyone. I, I can still like the blue team's draft. They could just ignore Deathwing and focus on Kerrigan whenever he dives in. Nubrak's got to be on point with his um, cocoon. But Mayav could easily, uh, well, 
I mean, I'm gonna guess she's gonna go warden. Major warden cage. To keep everyone in there. But we'll see. I still like blue team trap because they got so much zone control. So much CC. Oh, look at this. Nicely done. I don't... I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> but the red team's got face palm rainer. Portrait synergy. I love it. I love it. Love to see it. All right, game one of best of five semifinals. Number one magnitude aftershock on the left side on the blue team. We have Punk on Tassadar, Amy on Mayav, Blunch on Anna, Captain Roberts on Learic, and Wraithling on May. And on the right side, number four, Trith Academy, we have Wizard Beast on Chromie, Fizzy on Kerrigan. Rothgar on the Nubarak, Sultry Satire, Satter on Rhaegar, and Deathwing played by Zankai. Alright, let's see. Be Breathing, Furious Storms, Nurin Armor, Totem, Draconic Might, Side Fusion, Pursuit of Vengeance, Lumber Shells, Assassin Renewal, and Heavy Pack. Alright, Leor's already going straight to the top. And blue team going straight to the bottom. Free clear in the middle for the red team. Free clear for the blue team on the on the bottom. May's going to slow him down. My is going to slow him down. Slight damage on the tower. I guess it works. They get no kill. All right. Just a little different tech to start off the bat for the blue team. Blue team's got really nice um, clear. With Tassadar and, uh, and Maev. Harry has got to dive in. Blue team's already started camps. Ooh, Deathwing is the offlaner. I guess that makes sense. But I'm surprised... Leoric is not trying to slow him down. Blue team tried for to invade, but the time stopped by Chromie and May is okay. I don't think anyone's going to get any early kills unless someone's totally out of position. Blue team's got a slight experience lead, but that's okay. Kerrigan's in the middle, getting some soak, so red team's got to be careful. Deathwing is really slow rotating top and middle. So, Kerrigan's trying to pick up the slack. Maya's coming in for the flag on the sides. He's coming in. Can she get anyone? Nope. Nubrag's there. The zone. Oh, but he get pulled in. And the wall. And does the heal get... Does he have any... Oh, 300. Oh, no. Nubrag, the bug goes down. Kerrigan's here, but not enough. Not enough without a tank. She could be in trouble. She's got to be careful. May zoning him out. And Maya's going to pull right back in. So unstoppable, but not enough. Yeah, Kerrigan's going to have a rough night, especially when the tank goes down. First two bloods goes to the blue team. Alright, blue team is, is ahead on structure and experience. I like it, blue team's trying to set up bush trap here. Wait for your tank. Wait for your tank. Maya's looking for Chromie. She got him. The pull. The wall misses. Oh my god. That was big. Big for the Chromie. Can they get it? Oh my gosh. Anubrek. Anubrek's zoning. He's got those stuns. He's doing good. Terry's going in. They need to support her because he's going to go. Oh my gosh. She gets pulled back in. Oh, and the May Sandstorm. Snowstorm zoning him out. Oh, but can they get a counter kill? No! Oh, Gregor goes down too. And they got pulled back in. They get pulled back in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh man, they have so much zone control. Kerrigan is going to have a rough night here. So they traded Terrace up top, and the blue team got the bottom one. Uh, 
Alright, red team is doing. Is blue team gonna invade? Nope, they're just gonna get their camps. Nice, well by Taz. There comes the new break. Oh, here comes the dragon. It's a 5v4. Leoric coming down, but he might be up too late. Can they steal it? They're going down. Here comes Leoric. He's in the back line. The pole by my. Oh, there's Leoric. They did steal the cap, but Kerrigan might die again. They might get Leoric. Can they get Leoric? Can they get the first kill? Oh, and Leoric's spooky ghost away. Nice. Nice kill. Nice camp steal. Well, they didn't get killed, but they got the camp steal. And Nurbrek's going in. There's the wall. Walls away. He already used his burrow. He's going to go down. There's no way he's going to survive. Oh, the shield. The shield saves him. Oh. Oh. Lior comes in from the back. I think this fort might go down without a tank. It's going to be hard for them. Oh, Karen tried to pull him in, but oh, this wall is a little late. That's their, they got in that wall a little bit earlier. They could have gotten, gotten Kerrigan. All right, red team's got to give it us because um, blue team's almost tens. A new break's going to try to stall, but misses. Deathwing tried to stall, but misses. The ice wall to box him out. They're zoned out, and then another wall. They have walls to spare. Oh, can Kerrigan? Yeah, Kerrigan makes it barely in time. Oh my gosh, if they had gotten this tower down earlier, they might have dove in. They have all of the zones, so they have two walls, they have poles, they have snowstorms. Oh my gosh, blue team has... has crowd control for days. All right, what is blue team going to do? Lyric, nope, didn't see him. Our team is going to try to save the bottom fort. Nice dodge by Nurak, nice. Oh my god, pull back in, and there's the wall. Can they have it? That's not enough, they're afraid to dive in. They didn't want to take a chance. They might have been able to do since there was only three here, but with a tower there. Alright, you're gonna get the camps. Are they, blue team's gonna invade. Oh, let's look at tens. Black hole, warden's cage, nano boost, and tomb, ice wall, temporal loop, ultralisk, cestral, bowling row. Hmm. Is a new back really thinking? Does he want the beetles? He went full shields. There you go, cocoon. I didn't think he would not get cocoon. All right. Are they just going to give each other's? Deathwing's going to try to stall. Nice cocoon on my F. There's, there's one stall. But I don't think they're going to get this. Just to pull a new rack. Oh, uh, yeah. And do they have another? I, uh, I don't. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, red team, you need to give. Oh, it's 5v3 on top. Deathwing could be in trouble. He could be unstoppable, but he could still get burned down. Oh! Used it to end the wall, just barely missed. I don't think they still would have gotten him. If only there was a hero that could shut towers off. You're right. You're right. Wasn't even mentioned in the draft. No one wanted her. Ice wall gets a, a new barack. Oh, but Carrie gets walled in by two walls. He gets walled up by two walls. Oh, Carrie and dead. Oh, Carrie and dead. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful walls. Those are absolutely beautiful walls. Just walled her in. And there goes the first tower. The wall of death. There it goes.
right, blue team's gonna go focus on the bottom. Ooh, look at this bush trap. I like this. Well. Nope. Are they trying to gank Leoric? Oh, they were they were checking the boss. So they check the boss, they're gonna take the bottom bottom port. This is bad because the objective is on the bottom. Alright, red team's gonna give the objective and just try to get the this one down. Are they gonna get in time? Nope. Five shots. And they're gonna get to camp. Red team needs to hurry. They're gonna go the unsafe way, right? All right. Oh, and the wall! The wall blocked off Deathwing, but they're still going. May shut down. Can they get a kill? Can they get my out? She jumps. She pulls. And Chromie's gonna pull right back in. And the wardens can. They get a kill. They finally get a kill. And they get all the wall. Wow! Deathwing gets wall too. What the heck? I thought he was unstoppable, but no, no. The wall. He gets frozen. Can they get? Can they get me? Can they get me? She already used her her slide. No, oh, yeah, they get one. They get another one too. They need to get a a top. Oh, Leor's gonna get the top. Oh, don't get the camp. Get the tower first. Okay. They need to hurry. Can they get the tower? Can they get one tower back? That was a nice play by the red team. Just the wall goes after Tassadar, but there's no follow up. Everyone's too far. Kerrigan can it. Kerrigan misses. Oh, she misses. Oh, almost. And they didn't get it. Everyone's back up. Well, May will be back up for that. That was a good try. I think they should have done this first before the camp. They might have been able to get it. All right, they got 14 seconds to get it, but the red team is going to lose another one. They're going to trade the middle for the bottom. Oh, they couldn't get it. Nice. At least the red team will only... All right. Red team needs to get at least one of these. They can't afford to give them all. They're going to lose two for sure. All right. The red team gets one. I right, Chromie's going to Oh my gosh. Chromie stalled it, but she gets walled in. Deathwing's up in the air. Can, landing on... Oh, can they get... Nice time loop. Can they get... They get her. Oh, yes, they get the healer. The healer down. Anna's down. Can they get anything more? Nice cocoon. Test nice cocoon. But Warden's case keeping everyone there. Can they get... Oh, it's a bite on me. But not enough. Not enough. The wall. Oh, nice wall. Nice wall. Oh, and red team pulled it off. They get two. They get the top two. Nicely done. Nicely. And they're going for boss. Blue team should just pick, finish this off. Except they're going to get camp. They're going to get the boss. Okay, but they might lose a couple powers. I mean, this tower is low. Middle tower is low. R Blue team is going to focus on the bottom. Here they come. I don't think Deathwing has a uh, fly anymore. He just used it for the objective. Chromie he's going to be in trouble. Ooh, nice time stop. Nice. What? I mean Got to dodge Mayo. I mean, Mayo. I think Leoric is going to get this middle middle fort. 5v4. They got to get him while Leoric's not there. Oh, oh and they sleep the bug. The black hole for the disengage. Oh my gosh. Kerrigan. Kerrigan. Oh. Kerrigan. No ancestral. Time loop. On my, my elf. Can I get her? No. She jumps out. Oh. Oh. The bug is dead. This is bad. Deathwing's on retreat. Oh my gosh. Ancestral is down for another 10 seconds. Meanwhile, the Ark was able to get the middle middle fort. And with no front line, looks like this fort might go down too. I guess they're going to give the bottom fort and focus on the middle one. 
Leark is gonna get oh my gosh. It's gonna be all six. They got all six for now. They need to hurry. They need to hurry. And they're gonna That's twelve points, that game. Oh, that's not game. Six. There's only two objectives up. Oh, oh no! Oh, they finally get Chromie. Chromie was doing good staying away, but that in two. Oh, they still have, they still have champ, but they lost their and they lost the healer. They lost Chromie. Oh, but blue team lost the healer. Oh, but Kerrigan goes down too. Kerrigan goes down. It's only the bug. Oh, the ice wall. Ice wall pretty much saved Tassadar. They're doing the best. Oh, Deathwing once. Oh, take it, Tassadar. Take it, Tassadar. But Deathwing goes down. Oh. Oh, so close. GG. GG. If Comey hadn't died up there, she didn't get into maybe the could have had a chance. Nice job. Nice job by the blue team. Nice try by the red team. They 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 fought hard, they almost came back actually. But they had the twenty talent lead. Yeah, I think this Kerrigan pick early was not the best. I did like the Deathwing because though I was surprised that the Ice Wall froze at him. But he couldn't get pulled by Maiav, which I thought was big. But he was really slow in soaking. Look at this, 27 experience for Learic and only 14 for Deathwing. I, I think if they had gotten a little tankier um, DPS. They might have worked better. Oh, well, good job, uh, main two knife shot. First points of the game goes to you. Why is clipping not allowed on the NG's channel? I do not know. I do not have authority on this channel either. I cannot do anything either. Sad days. All right. Well, um, happy Mother's Day to everyone, to all the mothers out there, and to everyone's mother. Well, I hope everyone celebrated with their moms. It's because, yeah, a bad person that we don't have authority. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. All right. So, reminder, this is best of five. Um, hopefully, both teams are aware of that and not expecting game three. Semifinals and finals are five games. And they are typically on the official... Um, Nexus Gaming Twitch channel, unless there is um, overlap, if more than two games are scheduled at the same time, then it will be at that personal caster's um, Twitch channel. Okay, so this means Trift Academy gets choice of map pick or... First pick. I have not seen a lobby. So I'm not sure what they pick. Anyways, let us look at the tournament bracket while we wait. You see here we have the number one, so we have the number four, and both of their games they won in domination, 2-0 over Maximum Thrust, and Threat Academy won 2-0 over CCS. In the lower bracket, we have the number two versus number three, and 
Man for Throwing won 2-0, and Rainbow Shrooms won 2-1. to one. So we have the top four teams going on in the D West. So it worked out nicely there. And we are going to Volskaya Foundry. Okay, let me update this. And that was picked by the red team. Okay. It looks like so far both both maps, the winner was chose map pick instead of first pick. So it is personal preference for the team, I guess. Wonder if they have any secret strats. Everyone's in the lobby, so let us go. Oh, wait, first pick, first band by the red team? Is that right? Did I, did I read that wrong? So they did pick my pick first. All right. So that was picked by the blue team. They chose first pick, not map pick. All right, so they banned my Ev. Okay. Yeah, I can see why. He was quite a nuisance. And then the Warden's Cage just kept everyone in place. First pick by the blue team. And the win again. And Chrome. Oh, so I guess Red Team doesn't want Chromie this time? You're going after someone else? And they banned Joanna last time. And they banned same bands for the blue team. The blondies, Anduin and Joanna, not playing tonight. Oh, and they steal May. Okay. So, take away that zone control. May and Maya, not available for the blue team this time. Who will the blue team counter him? Ooh, Diablo and Li Ming. Wow, blue team is flexing their hero pulls. Hey, Kerrigan again and Deathwing again. They must love Kerrigan. Kerrigan's going to get bounced around by Diablo. No, no ancestral? Okay. I still think blue team should oh mouth out okay that's the same band you didn't want the one he's dead on death wing uh, i still think bright wing is a good pick for either of these teams especially the blue team for kerrigan but anna did a really good job too so can't complain on picking up anna again okay boss dad and decker okay they banned Decker the first game. No, he was available, so they're going to pick it. Uh, I think Red Team needs to pick up Brightwing, so whenever Diablo charges, he turns into a sheep. Lord of Terror, my butt. You're a sheep now.
And they're going to pick right wing and Samuro. Okay. I like this. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say. They don't have tank, but they got May. All right. What are they going to do to counter Samuro? Will they do Leoric again? Counter Deathwing? Yep. All right. All right. Well, I think red team's draft is better than the first one, but I'm still scared for Kerrigan. But they have bright wings, so I think whenever Kerrigan jumps in and Diablo tries to flip her, Diablo is just going bah, turn into sheep. Are you right? Who needs ranged assassins? There's no ranged assassins. Well, Deathwing could be, depending on which way he goes. All right, game two, this best of five of Division D West. We have on the right side, the blue team, Magnitude Aftershock. We have Punk on Lee Main, Amy on Falstad, Blunge on Deckard, Captain Roberts on Leoric, Wraithling on Diablo. And on the right side, the red team, we have Wizard Beast on Samuro, Sultry Satar on Brightwing, Fizzy on Kerrigan, Zankai on Deathwing, and Rothgar on May. Ah, let's see. Eat the Walker. Oh, it looks like Calamity build. Gathering Storm, Assess and Renewal, Soul Shield, Wave the Wind, Hyper Shift, Fury the Storm, Iconic Might, Ice Storm. All right. Red team was checking the bottom. Okay, it's the blue team is going bottom. Tomorrow is going top. Blue team's mid. The arc's on the bottom. Here comes Deathwing. Right on top, a couple of minions. So Deathwing is going to be in the format, and tomorrow it's going to be um, rotating. Blue team saw red team all the way in the bottom. They get the first tower. Nice start for the blue team. I was quite not sure on what the red team. I mean, was doing? Can I get a Leoric kill? Are we going to get the first trade value for Leoric? May, May's going to go for it. Can she? No, not enough. And the rest of the team didn't follow anyway. They're going top tower. Blue team is doing a really good job macroing. Red team is just going after kills, I guess. I'm not sure, but blue team is just going for towers. They're avoiding, and they got the half level lead. All right, blue team is doing a really good job. They got a couple towers down already. And Leart is working on this one. Here comes Samuro. What can he do? I don't think he's going to be able to do much. That's nice damage on Diablo, but no follow up. All right. Camps are being taken. Blue team definitely does not want to fight right now. I guess they're waiting for Diablo to get some souls to get a little bit beefier. Red team needs to get a little more structures. All right, red team is now starting their hard camp. They're looking for a flank. They're looking for a flank. Oh, a little too late. A little too late. Murrow 
is pushing. Can you get any more? All right, objectives up. Here comes Diablo. Is in charge of the Kerrigan. There's the sheep. That's what Kerrigan. Oh, but the triangle misses. Oh my gosh, Lee Ming. Take off 25% of, of Kerrigan's health there. All right, is he going to get the first? Nope, he's going to get more experience. Experience is even out now. Nice stun, nice stun. Definitely got two of them, but no follow up. All right, so Samuro's on point. Learc is pushing bottom. Everyone else is up top. All right, now they're trading. Learc's on point and Samuro's on bottom. Here comes the rest of the team. The team is definitely playing it careful. May goes in, but he gets charged by... Oh, no flip. Oh, I'm not sure why he didn't flip him. Because he had the rest of the blue team there and red team was nowhere around. It looks like the red team is giving it up. Or is just going to wait for a while. Push out the lanes. Experience is even. And look at this. Samara was able to get the middle. Here comes Samara. Here comes Learc though. Here comes Diablo. Polymorph Diablo, can I get him? Oh my gosh, he flips him! Oh, he's saving! How is he still alive? Kerrigan's the first one to go down! And Deathwing might be the next one! Oh, yeah! Oh, Leoric is such a good counter in Deathwing. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, Kerrigan. And they're gonna get the tower and the gate. So we can't get... Oh, no. Nope. Couldn't get, couldn't get the birdie. First objective, blue team. This might be the first four too. Here comes Deathwing, landed right on top of the, of the robot. They need to focus the robot if they're going to get the first four. No, oh, they saved it. Five hundred points. Oh my gosh. Lee Man can just go there and throw an orb. Alright, Diablo is fully stacked. L Leoric or Lee Ming? Someone can easily take that port down. Alright, red team is rotating. Nice stun. Can I get him? Oh, but he's got the spooky walk. Objective is still up. <laughs> objective is still up. They were too busy. All right, they finally get the objective. That wing is chasing Diablo. Falstad's just stacking on him. He's got 29. They have to carry again. Here comes. Oh, he misses the combo. He gets turned into a sheep and misses it. Then two misses two. Can they? Deathwing, oh my gosh. Every, as soon as Deathwing tries to throw some fire, Falstad or Liaric goes after him because he's just standing still. He's just standing still. Sumuro was able to get some tower damage there. They're invading? Kerrigan, you can't be by yourself there. Oh, slowed. Barely. Oh, let's look at the tens. We only get Blade Storm, Blink Heal, Ultrask, Bellowing Roar, Ice Wall, Disintegrate, Mighty Gust, Lornado, Entomb, and Apocalypse. They're invading. The Moro already used his clones. Here they come, here they come. Oh, oh, pick up the thing, who got it? Oh, Samara stole it, Samara stole the turret. And that's a oh, but dragon flew right on top of him. Oh, there's bad synergy there. 
Oh, oh, Kerrigan gets both the, the, and two misses. Kerrigan's going after Leoric, and they're going, here comes the dragon. Can they get anyone else? Can they get the Leoric? Oh, can they get trade value, trade value, trade value on Leoric? Oh, Kerrigan gets two kills there. Oh, nice. I thought there was a misplay when Dragon stomped on top of two people with the ice wall blocked it. But still, they were able to get two kills. All right. Red team's fighting back. Can he get Diablo? Oh, the stun misses and the fire misses. Diablo gets to keep his souls. And they're going to get a healing cap. And Samaro is doing Samaro things. Oh, can they get him? Oh, the tomb! Oh, it wasn't Silent and Tomb. He was able to get out. He was able to get out thanks to this. Shuki Uchi. Teleports a, a distance. If that was Silent and Tomb, that would have been trouble. All right. Here comes the red team's going for the flank. They're a little behind them. Oh, the ice wall misses. Ice wall misses. Diablo's in the background. Diablo's looking for a flank. He's far away from his team. The Lornado and the Gust is used. There's the Apocalypse combo. It gets one, but is that enough? Oh, he gets stunned by Diablo and the breathing. He's breathing. And that healing potion or the healing thing is helping them. Holy man. Oh my gosh. All the fireworks. No one dies. No one dies. They saved the fort. Samara is doing Samara things. They got a camp up top. Red team is still in it. In fact, they got the Sly Experience lead. Samara is keeping them in it. Can we get it, Leark? Nice job by Samara, but he's by himself. Nice. Nice. Fire breathing? Nope, too far. But Red team needs to get a, a fort. I mean, they're down one fort, just mid fort. Samara's doing a good job. Alright, Flo's not looking for a flank. He's got Gust. He's got Gust. There it is. Gust into the tower. Couldn't get that thing. He's got in two when Kerrigan and the ice wall blocks him off. Kerrigan's slide. They want him. Oh, but Flo's is just poking away and so is Li Ming. Samara's leaving. Samara says, see ya. That was a nice flank. That was a nice gust. But Deathwing doesn't care about that. Um, Samara, you need to clear the top. There we go. They're flying in. They're, they're, oh, but misses everyone. Misses. Oh, there's a the stun on Diablo and the sheep. Can they get Diablo? But he got so much souls. He's got so much. Oh, he's surviving. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow gets charged. Oh, but he, he has the blue link. Oh, he, oh, he shifts over. He shifts over. He's okay. The tomb gets lights with May. And the apocalypse gets May. May could be in trouble. Do we have it? No. May goes down. There's the front line. That thing had to fly. Tried to save him. There goes another fort. They tried for Diablo, but he had fully stacked souls could not die now they're pushing the keep keep wall Samora's trying his best to get a fort Kerrigan's getting camps Diablo I mean Deathwing but they need to defend this all that's not any good if you lose your keep I just keep well okay we got a minion wave to help Samara's going to try to push the top. Burns-wise, they're pretty even. Kills-wise, 3 to 2. But structure-wise... Oh, in two misses, he was able to go away. I think level 20, though, Samara's not going to be able to do that trick anymore. There we go. We're going for the invade. Meg comes in. Ice wall. There's a turret. Pick, someone pick up the turret. Diablo charges out. Tried to go for Deckard, but turrets are dropped. Can they get Diablo finally? The stall! Can they pull? They pull! And they pull! They pull them! 
Go! They finally get Diablo. Loses his souls. Nice. And they need to get this. Can they get Lee Ming? Can they get Lee Ming? They're chasing her. Oh, there's a stall! He blow and the gust! The gust saves! Oh my gosh. Nice coordination there. Nice play by Falstead and Lee Ming to avoid. And still, blue team has full structures. Kerrigan's in trouble, though. Kerrigan's in a world of hurt. Oh, then two misses Kerrigan, though. But, oh, she's... Then, uh, I still think she's dead. Oh, she's alive! She's alive! No! Oh, 50! Leeming! Leeming gets a double reset! Brightwing and Kerrigan! Uh, can they... Oh, no! And they get May! Oh, but Samara got a tough work. Other news. And blue team is going to get a bottom keep. Oh, uh, well, maybe. That thing might be able to save it. Mara's going to get this. Can he hold it off? Does he have any more clones? Yes. Samara saves it. Oh, can I get him? No. And they're... David, they need to hold off for May. May's got another 15 seconds, though. And yeah, Deathling alone cannot save this. Give up the keep and don't die. Oh, nice. Some more gets the kill there. Dove the tower and everything. All right, that, that helps, but they lost the tower. I mean, the keep. And blue team only lost the top fort. Objective is at the top, though. This is only the second objective. And they're going about to hit 20s. And it keeps already down. Oh, he's one misses again! But it's blocked Diablo! He's with the fire breath methods! Uh, oh, can I get Carrie? He gets the pull! Carrie gets the pull! Diablo doesn't have enough souls! And yes, they get Diablo! Tornado misses! They're going after Li Ming! Can they get him? Oh no, they're split! They're split! Oh, May's in trouble! May's dead! The tanks are dead! Oh, whoa! Blade Storm! Can they get him? No, not enough! The heals! Oh, Samura finally goes down! Samura finally goes down! No heals from Bright Wing! Oh, Deathwing is going to be okay. Christian is... Oh, nice blink kill. Nice blink kill. I was going to say, Brightwing might be in trouble there. But Brightwing, nice save there. They went all in on Diablo, but... But then they lose three. And they're going for it. They are going for it. Deathwing is in. He needs to use the Belling Roar. Does he have Belling Roar to fear him? He... Nope. He... Oh, this is... this is not good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That was, well, uh, I guess he doesn't have Belling the Roar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If Deathwing goes. Yeah. That's game. I guess his fear was not. He did take Belling the Roar, right? Yeah, fear. GG. They tried. They did well, but. They put all the eggs in the basket to kill Diablo, but they get it, did it, but it was not enough. All right, tomorrow did good. Look at that, 43, three kills. Kerrigan got two kills. Wow, Decker with his potion, 64k. I do like the Brightwing to counter Diablo. And I do like Deathwing to counter all the stuns. But Leora countered Deathwing. And Falstad too, because he was just pounding away with his hammers on Deathwing. And Lee Ming. I mean, they had so much range. Lee Ming and um, Falstad and Zero range for the red team. All right, TG. Let me give them their points. All right, but it is um, best of five. So all this means is the start of a reverse sweep. Could be a reverse sweep. We could be here for another two hours if that happens. 
If not, we'll be here for just for another 20 minutes. All right, so, oh, I don't want the draft. I want this. I don't know what the draft is yet because I have not seen a lobby. All right, I would like to see for the red team to pick a ranged hero. I like the Samuro pick. I actually did. He did good. He kept them in the game with those um, offlane shenanigans. But if they're going to pick Kerrigan, they need to pick someone else. They had Chromie in the first game. So they had a range there. And, and I thought Chromie did pretty well too. But they... Uh, and they moved Deathwing. He was in the offlane in the first game. And he was really slow in the rotation. So they stuck him in the... Uh, the foreman, which I liked. But I'm not quite sure if they're going to pick Kerrigan. They, or, or they need more stuns. I mean, they had the Brightwing, which was really nice. I don't know. Let's see what, what they're going to do for adjustment. We are going to Dragonshire. All right. First pick is the the blue team, so that means the red team picked it. Okay, so this time they picked the map. Took the camera and picked the map. All right, we are waiting for teams to get in the lobby. I'm guessing they had a bio break. Two exciting games. They had to take a pause, drink some water. Oh, that's a good idea. Let me drink some water. All righty, we are almost here. All right. One more person we're waiting for. Still doing a little quick bio break. Again, happy Mother's Day to everyone out there who is a mother and to everyone who's watching their mothers. Hopefully y'all spent some quality time. All righty, everyone is here. Can you tell them I'm ready? All right, Dragonshire. I wouldn't be surprised if they went tomorrow again. I mean, that, I thought that worked out really well. I would ban my ass again. I, I wouldn't mind a Deathwing, Deathwing pick and a Brightwing pick again for... The red team. But if you're going to pick Deathwing, you need to ban Leoric. They banned Malfal, which was good. But I thought Leoric was in tomb. He had some pretty, pretty nice in tomb there. All 
right, we're all in. Looks like everyone's going to be ready. And here we go. First pick, first band, this time to left side. Blue team, number one, magnitude aftershock. First two games, they ban um, Anduin. Will they continue with that? Yep. I have. I like that ban. I think next ban should be Malthel. I mean, not Malthel, Leoric. Are going to ban Joanna? That's what they seem to like to ban. And it is Joanna. Two blondies are gone again. They are not playing tonight. They can just go home and enjoy Mother's Day. Spend it with your moms. All right, please ban Leoric if you're going Deathwing. Chromie instead. Okay. Um, I could understand that Chromie can be Falstad. Oh, okay. Insta lock. You got a global right there. Gonna fly up to the top lane and gank whoever's in the top lane. Rhaegar? Okay. That's a safe first pick. <clears throat> Not showing your hand. Last time they picked Kerrigan really early, both games. Ooh, Zeratul. Alright, they're changing it up. I like it. Instead of Sumero, they're doing Zeratul. Brightwing stolen. Yeah. Not surprised. Not surprised at all. And who else? Diablo. Now that Brightwing's gone, Diablo will be free to roam around. And here comes the Mouth Owl ban. Same ban as game two. Yep, Malthal. Not sure why they were thinking so long. I guess they were thinking on what they were going to pick. <clears throat> and let's see. Maybe a tank ban? Maybe a Nubarak? Get rid of Cocoon? Yep, there it is. No Cocoon. Alright, so who's a good tank? Who's left? Murden's not too bad. He could jump out if Diablo flips him. Let's see who Jaina and May. Okay. I mean May did okay. I don't hate May. I think I would have liked Murden though. All right, so Leoric offlaner again. We need an offlaner and another DPS. KT and Leoric. All right, are we going to see Kerrigan again? I mean, they do have a range in Jaina, which is nice. Oh, but you need an offlaner. Unless Zerithu is going to be your 
permanent offlaner. Arthas! Oh! Offlane Arthas? Maybe? Oh, they should have wait, waited for the, for the patch. Because the new patch, according to the PTR notes, Arthas is going to get buffed. Gonna have a lot of hit points now. Yeah, Blaze would have been a good offlaner. I hear you. That bunker could have come in handy if KT does Pyroblast. But I'm suspecting he's not. I think he's going to go Phoenix. All right, game three, the start of the reverse sweep. Everyone wants to see it. We have on the left side, blue team magnitude aftershock. We have Punk on KT, Amy on Falstad, Lunch on Brightwing, Captain Roberts on Leoric, Wraithling on Diablo. And on the right side, the red team fighting for their tournament life. Wizard Beast on Zeratul, Zankai on Jaina, Sultry Satyr on Rhaegar, Rothgar on May, and Fizzy on Arthas. All right. Mana Attic, Gathering Storm, Sheep, Lesson Renewal, Move Unseen, Winter's Reach, Proto, Heat Transfer, and Frost Presence. All right. What can the red team do with a tankier front line? It's going to be Jaina carry and Zeratul to annoy. Nice stun by Diablo, but no follow up. That was just. What did he pick? Soul Shield. Okay. Soul Shield for um, Jaina. All right, Zeratul is just trying to stall rotations. Oh, he misses. He missed. All right, cams up, and Rhaegar's right on it. Oh, but they're invading. They saw Rhaegar walk in there. They are invading, and I don't think there's anything Red Team can do it. They're kind of out of position, but they're still trying. They're still trying. Oh, nice. Can, here, oh, here comes Zeratul! He comes in there! Oh, he goes for the birdie! And they get it back! They get it back! Nice play by Zeratul! He scared the bird away! <laughs> the bird says, Woo! Proto's here! I'm out of here! Nice job by the red team! I didn't think they were gonna do it! Arthas is up top. I like it. Zeratul is covering the mid. That means it's 4v3 on the bottom. May just use this slide, he could be in trouble. Oh no, the sheep! The sheep, Jaina! Oh my gosh. I'm not sure why Jaina was all the way out there when May was up here. But, uh, okay. First blood goes to the blue team again. And they got a camp pushing. Okay. I, I mean, I like what Zertul is doing. He's roaming top and middle. Getting... Mid soak. Can they get a kill? Can, oh, but he's got the spooky walk. He's got and the bright wing. I don't think bright wing is needed there. He had the spooky walk. So red team is three v three on bottom. This is the chance to push. Did they see him go bottom? Did they see? Him? Oh, oh my gosh! What is he? No, oh, I thought Zeratul was dead. Here comes bright wing. He, he had to do the slow walk down. Oh, nice. Nice Rhaegar cleanse there. Jaina could be in trouble. I mean, they do have range in Jaina, but that's a pretty short range. They already got one tower on the bottom. Because they're just four man pushing the bottom. Red team is doing a 1-1-3. One, one, Jaina needs to be careful. If she steps out there and Diablo catches them. And I think this... Alright. Blue team. Two towers and the gate down.
Arthas has not left the top lane. Oh, nice pull up and the flip on Jane again. Oh, no. Can they get her? No. No. Oh. Long range is not long enough for Jaina. One of the shorter ranged assassins there. I think her and Tyka's are the shortest ones. Oh, Zertul didn't want to stop him with Falstad there. Alright, first objective. Blue team. Arthas is going to stack up his... Look at that. He's just stacking 78, 80. He's going to get 150 pretty quick, but he got kicked out. Oh, pulling up Jaina. Oh my gosh. Jaina just needs to be careful. They saved the fort. Oh, Arthur. Actually, that was good that Arthur got kicked away because they're just going to look for the killing whoever goes behind. Can they get him? He's going for both that. It's going. Oh, but he gets polymorph. He gets, can he get Brightwing? Oh, nice. Nice job by Brightwing there. Oh, and they get May. Oh my gosh. I guess the elbow tried to go for. Oh, if. Can they. Oh, Brightwing to save. Oh my gosh. Polymorph. Zeratul's doing his best. Can't confirm it. Needs a couple more levels first. Alright, Arthur's is now on the bottom. I guess since May was gone, he had to cover bottom, and now May is going top. They're switching roles. Experience wise, it's still pretty close. Oh my gosh, Jaina, you need to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, run. Run far away. That might not be far enough. Alright, we got both tanks at the bottom, Arthas and May. We got like snows everywhere, Arthas, May, and Jaina. Can they get anything done though? Here comes Zero Tool from Flag. It's gonna be 5v4. Can they get. get oh, he's going after KT, but he gets cheap and he gets flipped. Oh, he had to jump out of there. Oh, but the snowstorm. Oh, and Falsa jumps out of there. Oh, but Arthas gets rooted. KT got the root. Oh my gosh, it was 5v4. They did not get anything. And then now they are running backwards. They are running back. It's not enough damage. Zeratul needs level 16, I think, is when he comes online. Alright, 5v4 still on the bottom. I mean, 4v4. Zeratul is... Ooh, nice jump there. Blue team really wants this bottom fort. Arthas has to save the mid. Picks up a couple experience there. Nice. Oh, there's the bottom for getting at Jaina. Oh, but he's okay. And the ancestral hits and the wall and the ice ring. The ice ring gets. Oh, not enough. And the gust to save. Arthas, can you get a slow? They got the yellow. Can they get the yellow? Hey, go. Zeratul in the back line. He's. Oh, but he gets polymorphed. Then Tomb gets Zeratul. They want KT. May wants KT. They're all split. They're all split. Arthas wants... They get KT. And Diablo slowed. He is slowed back. Oh, but too close to the towers. They get a K... Oh, but Jaina dies. Falls that pit. I was going to say. They got a kill on KT, but Jaina turns around and dies on them. And he gets flipped. Can they get Diablo? Uh, no, not with no damage. And Arthas with no mana. But Red Team got the first kill finally. Oh, and May with the stun. Nice polymorph. Can they, oh, they're zoning. Wait, wait, wait. Can they get but don't, don't damage? Oh, but you got the Arthas. They got boxed them. They got boxed them. The body blocks is real. And the, oh, the ice bomb zones them out. But oh, so tanky. He's got full shield. Here comes the Gus. The Gus. The kid has got the fire for everyone. Fire for you. Fire for you. Oh, and the ring. The ring misses. Diablo charges out. Fuck that dies though. Rhaegar dies. Can they get any more? The whole bright wing dies. Sertul. Oh, can they get more? Oh, and the blue team. Leoric steals the. Steals the. Diablo's still alive. Oh my gosh. 
full souls and spell soul shield saves Diablo. They get two kills, but they lose the objective and the loser for it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jenny, you're running the wrong way. Oh, you got kicked. You got kicked. You got saved. Diablo could have charged you. And they lose another fort. Blue team has destroyed a fort. All right. Red team is split again. Oh, they almost almost had the flip on May. The ice wall. Can they get in? Can they get anything? And there's a stun. There's the root. There's the apocalypse though. No. Oh, the apocalypse saves Falstad. Oh, but the ring. Oh, Falstad until gets one. They get Falstad. Can they get any more? Can they get Oh, Brayman goes down. Brayman, they get two. Can they get finally Diablo? They finally get Diablo. Can they get... Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a four-man team wipe. Oh, can they get anything out of it? Can they get... They need to push or keep a fort. They need structures. They need structures. They're going for camps. Okay. That was, that was a nice fight. That was beautiful. All right. Rhaegar is going to get this other camp. Boss is going to clear this camp. Get some value. They already got the type camp. Alright, well, they got some damage, but... Still have a tower there. Amazingly, red team has had experience, even though they're down two forts. He's gonna gank Learic. Does he have a spooky walk? There he goes. Oh, yeah. It's really hard to gank Learic, especially without your damage deal over there. And they saw, they tried to gank Learic, and they're gonna just push with the camp. Another chance to prove yourself worthy. Do not swap. Red team needs to hurry. There's their keep. They got a camp here. Nice! Oh! Flostag was able to get out. There's the nice cleanse by... Oh, and the ice wall! They get Flostag! They're after Brightwing! They want Bright... Zero Tool wants Brightwing! Oh, no! Oh, he did the power blast on Zero Tool! The ring! The ring gets... K no, they get KT! Then, then Tomb! Then Tomb! Ancestral is down! They don't have it! Can they get any more? Zero Tool! Oh, can they get Zero Tool? Oh, Flostag! Both that does he have a death? Oh no! Oh, Zero Two could be in trouble. Does this? There's a charge. Does he have? There's a flip. KT. Oh, the root, the root, and the dash away. Oh, the birdie lives. The birdie lives. Zero Two tried so hard. It tried so hard. All right. Everyone resets. My team, you need to push. All right, this double tank is working. Late game. Red team is definitely a, a late game team, especially with Zero Tool. And Arthur's is fully stacked, so he's got all his quests. All right. Oh, then tomb. Uh, that was just like a panic button. And they got first fort. But red team's going to lose bottom fort. Camp is up. Are they going to do the camp? Red team has destroyed a fort. Yep. Here comes the blue team from flank. Then you get out of there. All right, red team has a half level lead. Zeratul is going to. Will they get the first? Someone who's going to get it. It's going to be May. Okay. 
Do you need to hurry? Yeah, well, can you get there in time? Nope. All right. First objective for the red team. So our tool is clearing. Kicks KT away. I don't think they're going to get much. All right, Zertul is finally here. I think this is going to get the tower. He's afraid to step up. Because Blue Team's got a lot of damage. KT and Falstad. Oh, you still got 38 seconds. What are you going to do? Are they waiting for 20s? Oh, no, my gosh. He, he's so low. He's got no help. He's got to get... Oh, the fire breath goes the wrong way. Uh, okay, he's okay. They're not chasing. They're not chasing. All right, now that Dragon Knight is gone, they're uh, pushing middle. Nope. I thought they were going to push mid. They saw Leoric up top. They might go 5v4, but Zaratul is just clearing, and Diablo's fully stacked again. It's going to be hard to kill again. Are they going for this one? Yes, they're going for camps. Zaratul is looking... All right, red team knows they're coming. Huh. Oh, now they're spotted. Oh, they're still moved. Oh, no, maze too far. The ice wall gets Diablo. Oh, but the blizzard and the, the ring to shot him out. They get, it still gets Diablo, though. Oh, oh. Then the ring, the snowstorm, can I get it? The guys, the guys, can I? No, oh, it doesn't save Diablo. Zeratul goes in. Oh, did he just use Ancestral and Zeratul? Oh, I guess that was a good thing, though, because Pyroblast would have killed him. All right, Diablo is a small demon again. Reset to 25 souls. That was nice. That was nice. My, beloved is gone, but his My blue team is pushing. Structures everywhere. All right, everyone's got twenties. While it falls, cold snap, double ancestral, the big one. That's advantage, flamethrower. My oh no, no! Don't face check it. He did face it. We're done two. The challenge two gets three. He gets three. And the apocalypse. Oh, the ice block saves Jaina though. And the wall. And the ring. The ring. They get two. Oh, fuck that goes down. Apocalypse. Oh, and the snowstorm. Oh, KT is down. KT is down. Oh, but Jaina's down too. Deathwing. Um, Deathwing. Brightwing is down. The Arthur's is gonna be slow. And the Arthur's goes down too. Oh. Can Zeratul 1v1 Diablo? Oh no! Yeah, yes! No! Yes! Oh my gosh, they went back and forth! Oh! It's, oh my gosh! Go help Zeratul! Oh, too slow! Too slow! The spooky hand killed Zeratul! Oh! That was a 3 4. 4. And Leoric's gonna 1v all of them. That tomb gets him! That tomb! Oh, but... He didn't take Silent in two. Oh! That saved May. He didn't take Silent in two. Burning the spare. That might have saved May because she was able to use her trait. Aching for some percent damage. You are right. I think Tychus might have been better for... for Trip Academy. They got Tychus. Of course, that's short range too, but. But still, some percent damage on Diablo would have been nice. All right. Red team got another fort. No. 
All right, everyone's got their buttons except for May. Here comes Apocalypse Mrs. The Ghost, the Ghost kind of Mrs. Ancestral on Jada. She used that look too. And Tomb on May. She's the back line. So is there a tool. And Arthur's, oh, here comes the Pyro Blast. He's okay. KT goes down. Jada gets them. Can they, uh, oh, don't go, don't focus on Liar. He's just gonna spoke you walk away. All right, they're all resetting. Oh, but Leora's going for it. They, oh, they charge on Jaina again. Charge on Jaina and Cestrel's down. Arthas could be in trouble. They, oh, Polymorph, oh. Zeratil is able to get the objective or the thing. Burning the spear is why Leo is 1v9, yes, but the Silent Tomb, I think would have gotten one or two kills also. Are they going to do... Nope, they're not going to get camps. Red, blue team's going to get camps. I don't think Zeratul's going to get there in time. Going to get it. Oh, he gets it! He gets the entomb, though! And he kicks him away. He doesn't care. He's going to kick you away. Can they do anything? He's already half dead. He's already the Ice wall gets right wing. The invisible friends. Oh, my gosh! Leor in the back line. In the back. Oh, the Gus! The Gus gets Arthas! He's all by himself, but the Dragonite doesn't care. Oh, they get the healer. They get the healer. This is bad. Arthur's all in the island by himself. Well, he's got the dragon, but dragon's peeling for him. And he kicks him away. Does he have? Yeah, nice blink. Oh, wow. They got the Dragonite. And this is getting some value there. Without the healer, what can they do? They might be able to. I think they save it. There's the root, but not enough. Then two misses. All right, they gotta keep. Ice right, wall gets two. They get tags gone. Zero two should be okay. Should be okay to follow up the ring. The ring. Can they get the arc? No. Can they get the Diablo? He's, he's slowed by Arthur. Oh, but he charges. And the Apocalypse. Apocalypse gets Zeratul. And the Gus. The Gus gets Arthur. And they get May. Oh, no. No. This is GG. That was a good try. And Jaina. Ancestral hits. Can I get the... Oh, might not be GG. They lose Diablo, but he's got the souls. He's going to come back. He's coming back. They save the keep. Oh, my gosh. 2,000 hit points. Oh, wow, the gust. The gust got May and Arthas. Oh, not Arthas. Um, Arthas and Zeratul. 22 minutes. Red team is fighting back. They got the first keep. And Diablo is puny again. He's got 30 souls. Slowly building back up. I wonder if he took Void Prison, would that be, would have been better to set up the Frost, the Ring of Frost? Because I don't see this too, taken too often. Alright, Red Team has a nice big camp pushing up top. Blue team doesn't care. They want the bottom port or bottom keep. Alright, we're looking for an entomb. There's the entomb. But it's okay. He should be okay. It's Arthas. The wall misses. The wall misses. There was poking. I think they should have gone after this one, but they get, they did have the camp. I think they're going to be back in time. I don't think they're going to lose the keep because it looks like they're going back. Yep, they're going to floss that. They're going to lose the, some tower damage. Should be okay. Angling for the objective. 
23 minute objective will hurt. Uh oh, ooh, nice. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say, blue team, don't do camps right now. Bush party, bush party, bush party. Let's have a party. I swell, it's only Ark though. So, and here comes, here comes the Gus. They got Jaina. And they got, and Jaina gets stunned out. Oh no, and the Ice Wall. I mean, Ice Block. The Blizzard. Oh my gosh, Arthur's is by himself. What the, how's he all by himself? How did he get there? I guess he was peeling for Jaina. I guess that's good. Sacrifice Arthur. Oh, but May. If they lose May, they have no front line. All right, blue team just get the objective and then walk the core. Yeah, and there we go. Flostad's gonna get that. And the minions, I guess the minions got the keep. Oh, uh, they're not gonna get it. They're gonna get the objective. They got the objective. They needed the kill, but they didn't get it. Zeratul went after Flostad. Almost got it. Oh, oh, nice. Just walk to core. Why don't even bother with this? It's a 25 minute Dragonite. Just right click the corner. Dragonite, right click the core. The Gus, the Gus, and the Apocalypse. They get, doesn't get anything. Oh, and the ring, the ring gets two. Oh, but this one's there now. Oh, and they get kicked away again. Just right click the core, Dragonite, right click the core. Oh, but it's going down fast. It's going down fast. Oh, and another way. Apocalypse. Oh. Oh, Dragonite's gone. But so is Jane. Oh, Jane and Ice Block. Oh, Diablo and Jane is gone. Diablo is gone. Oh, and Zero Tool's gone. DPS is gone. This is, oh, the comeback is... Can they get they get Rhaegar at 4,000? Oh, 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 1,000. It's tank versus tank. Can they have 700, 500, 200? Oh, my gosh. Not enough. Oh, my gosh. 26 minutes. GG. Oh, my gosh. GG. May versus Learic. 26 minutes. Who would have guessed? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Let's look at that. 16 and 20 kills. Jane had 93k. Leoric had 110. Right. Oh my gosh. Zeratul, where's Zeratul? Nine kills. He did pretty good too. GG. Alright, let me see if I can get a um, interview. Where are you, ladies? Right. Hello, hello. GG. Punk online. Punk online. Yes, you are. You were the KT on the last game, right? That's correct. All right, That's so, right. So first thing I want to do is Pyroblast. I don't see that too often. Was there a yeah. specific reason you wanted Pyroblast into the Phoenix? Into the Phoenix. So that map doesn't really have a channel except for the dragon. So you just open with the Pyroblast and make somebody run away. Okay. That hey. was kind of the, like a web wrap mostly. Oh, okay. Good reasoning, good reasoning. So let's talk about Tower Zoom, first game. Uh, I thought... Towers of Doom. Let's see. They went... Kerrigan, Deathwing. I I didn't think Kerrigan was very effective in either games. Were well, I played a lot of Kerrigan all season, so we were kind of expecting it and kind of bracing for impact on for not banning it, because that was one of our ban considerations. Kerrigan and Deathwing amongst Joe and, and Anduin were our top four bands. Okay. And then we ended up deciding letting Kerrigan and Deathwing through. Yeah, um, they had they had Deathwing and there's a solo lane, but rotating top and mid, I thought was a struggle for them. Yeah, I think that's kind of um, 
what lost momentum. They had it forced them to send Chromie mid a lot, or it kind of messed up uh, the four man rotations. Right. So you pulled away early, but they were able to get some good team fights near the end. Yeah. But I, I think... yeah, that map, that map specifically, we set up the the top, the top keep and the mid keep. It was all at like I don't know five percent each, and then we gave up on those lanes and focused bot. So we once we got that bot lane. We knew for sure it was in the bag because then it was checkmate at mid and top, and then any cap would have ended. Yeah, and you had so much zone control with the Mayev and the May, and it was just yeah, Tassadar. And, yep. the, and the yeah. walls. So many walls. <laughs> oh my gosh, you had a beautiful wall tapping Kerrigan with the with the ice wall and Tassadar wall and the real wall, and she was just trapped in like a little V shape there. It was Nowhere beautiful. to go. It was beautiful. So in the second game, Botsky family, they banned Mayev, which I thought was a smart move. But they kept Kerrigan again. So you were expecting Kerrigan and, and Kerrigan and Deathwing. They, they both kept that there. Yep. Yeah, but, that one, um, our play was actually to either wait for Kerrigan to dive in or to focus Deathwing. Right. And, Deathwing just can't heal. So, so I tried to drop all the Leeming orbs on Deathwing only. Right, you and Falstad and Leoric was burning down Deathwing yep. really fast. Yeah, yeah, that was our plan, just to try and make it difficult for him to stay in the fight, because he's got to leave to heal, and that's what we, we were banking on. And, and this was a lot closer than the first game. They did well. They were late yep. game, apparently, for all their games. They started coming back. But yeah, I, and that I, last map, whoo! Okay, let's go <laughs> talk Dragon Tower. Yeah, I thought... I thought they honestly had a really good chance to coming back, but you got the pick on Arthas at the end. They, they, yeah, they... that one was was funny for us. We were we were curious about it, but that Arthas into the Leeming or not Leeming into the May route and the Jaina follow up, all that was just like you when you got stuck in a blizzard, you weren't leaving until you got hit by all three blizzards. Right. <laughs> so that was actually really good play. They had and we luck. struggled with it because they would they would scout us out with the Zeratul. And so I actually held Pyroblast for Zeratul so we could at least see where he's going. <laughs> oh, and okay, then, okay. And then uh, uh, just hope something happened. So I would usually die at the beginning of the fights and then Leoric out of nowhere clean, cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, that level 20 burning the spare. Um, Chad was saying that's why he was just diving backline and surviving. Yeah, with no mercy too. Right. He went like one v three and got them all. It was great. Yeah, that was there was one fight in the end when they were just fighting it out and Leoric was just swinging his big axe around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That last fight they had a bush party. I I don't know if you knew. I guess you couldn't tell. They were in the bush yeah, we party. Yeah, couldn't tell. And they were waiting, and then Leoric walks by. And they jumped him. I was like, no, you don't want to jump Leoric. You want someone squishier. Yeah, that that part specifically, we're looking at doing the bruiser camp, but we kind of figured they'd just jump us on the bruiser. Right, so right. we had a huge push mid, and we figured they'd either respond to us mid or just show up here. And so we kind of just waited for them to show up, and they ended up showing up. And we got the, the gust off, um, which got Jaina, and then we got Arthas, and that was that was the end of it. But right. we, we were actually playing early, like... At 17, we were just trying to fight and fight like we did the other games. It just wasn't working out. Um, so we figured we'd wait for Gust at level 20, and that's how we would win. Yeah. And it it, it ended up were, being so. Those were Gusts were nice, especially when you caught Jaina. Um, but Jaina was, uh, I guess you can still hit Ice Block when you are you got the... I guess so. <laughs> I, like, I was expecting her to, to just die immediately. Yeah, me too, ice but uh, I no. guess it's an instant cast, and she was able to hit that. So that saved her a couple of times. Uh, so congratulations, you're in the finals. Hey, thank you. Excited. So you are either going to play Band for Throwing or Rainbow Shrooms. Whoever wins theirs. Do you have a preference? No preference. I'm okay. excited to, to make it this far, honestly. So I believe, we've had a solid solid season, a solid team. It's been I, great. I believe you have not lost a match yet. In the finals? No. Uh, I mean overall in, in the season. In the season we lost one to Trith and then we lost a whole match to um Rainbow Shrooms. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you. So were... we'd like to get the match back from them, but so you want to face Rainbow Shrooms? We play at the end okay. would be pretty, pretty okay by me. It doesn't matter. You're in it. Yep. Well, do you have any... this far? 
Do you have any shout outs? Uh, shout outs to the team again. Um, the season we've been pretty solid and it's been, it's been great playing all around. Like the plays have been great. Shot calling has been great. Um, the camaraderie is high and uh, I've really enjoyed my time hanging out with the team this season. So yeah. shout out to all the magnitude crew. You did well and good luck on your finals, whether it's banned for throwing or rainbow shrooms. Hey, thanks for the cast too, Peldor. I have fun. No, I wanted a full five game series. <laughs> oh, well. well, we were we were going in. We we're like, dang, five games. We weren't ready for this. Uh, and, um, <laughs> Dr. Blanchard Healer, he said, well, let's pretend that we already forfeit or lost the first two. So these next three, we you have to win. A reverse sweep. <laughs> there you go. Yep. <laughs> yep. So so in our minds, we, we got the reverse sweep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, well, good luck, and thank you for the interview. Hey, yeah, have a good evening. All right, you too. All right, um, that will be 